we have the U.S. military stating that they are going to attempt to build deadly artificial intelligence driven tanks, dubbed Project Atlas. This type of tank would lead the first autonomous ground combat vehicles in the world. Now, according to courts, they're saying that the Advanced Targeting and Lethality Automated System, or ATLAS, would theoretically give a tank the ability to do everything necessary to take down a target except pull the trigger. They're saying that a human operator will still need to actually fire the weapon that will kill another human being. Now, I'm going to stop right there. I want to say this. That is the framework, the legality part of them rolling this out on the world stage right now so people don't complain and argue. I also want to remind folks that here recently with AI, different forms and variations have been tricking their developers. One tricked their developers by hiding information. It hid the information in a frequency that you could not see. That's how slick they are becoming. Now, could you imagine if something like that happened with one of these tanks or a unit of these tanks? Or if they got hacked and overridden? They're saying that human control is behind firing the weapon. But I'm here to tell you, at some point down the road, there's going to be someone that overrides that somehow, some way, with technology. At some point in time. Now they're saying that the U.S. Army has already called on experts in the field to help develop this deadly technology combination. Eventually, it will allow the ground combat vehicles, such as a tank, to automatically detect a target and engage the enemy combatants without the risk of an operator losing their life. So right there, it just says eventually, that's exactly where it's going to be. Eventually. Where it's just going to be all autonomous out here. What happens if it's taking false readings? They're saying the U.S. with support from contractors like Boeing. And I'm sure other countries out there contracted like DARPA. Are going to be involved in this. So you remember the name of all these companies, ladies and gentlemen. Because it's going to be the same companies that are producing the same technologies. That are going to be deployed everywhere in the end. And you're even going to see them crisscrossing the skies of this country in terms of drones in the future. I'm going to leave a link. I'm going to continue to update as I come across more, as I always do. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. This has been Davu7. Much love.